Hey everyone, Rayo here, and welcome back to Maxing Melee. Uh, this is going to be episode 10, and in episode 10, because it is free death week, I am planning on taking Raksha on, and just giving that a shot and flying in solo, flying in blind. I've watched a guide, but it's been a while. I mean, I have minimal exposure <laughs> to Raksha, but I guess just to kind of catch you up on what I've been doing, it's honestly just been care pack. That's literally it. Um... I've just been enjoying it, uh, doing it with the clan, uh, the new clan that I joined, which has just been awesome. Just been teaching people some care pack as well. Um, I have 155 KC. It's been nice to kind of teach because that brings me back to my roots from another game that I play. A lot of it's been duos and in a duo the other day with Gunkin, the guy that was in episode nine, joking around with me. We got lucky and got the fractured staff shaft it's awesome i got so amped i wasn't recording at the time which was a huge bummer so i've just been doing care pack non-stop refining my rotation just getting better with melee damage and all that good stuff which has been nice because it sets me up well for other bosses so i'm pretty confident in taking on raksha at this point especially because i hear that raksha and care pack hard mode are kind of compared as one being harder than the other for some people so i'm pretty decent with prayer flicking which is the main concern i hear a lot of people say whenever they talk about raksha i don't know i have no idea how it's going to go because obviously i've never done it so we'll just see how it goes but first i need to go ahead and knock out the mini quest the a Colossus to be able to actually kill Raksha and do Raksha so we'll knock that out and then we'll get right to it all right so we just finished the mini quest which was actually very interesting and I don't know it gives me I don't know I'm really it's totally unrelated to melee content but I don't know when when bosses have a lore behind them like the Elder God Wars and all that stuff it's just it's so cool to just kind of dive into it and figure out where they fit into um fit into the lore and just kind of what their place is it just it makes content much more tangible and fun for me instead of just hey we got a big guy that drops big stuff so i don't know very cool little mini quest i didn't expect it to actually be that interesting so i think we're pretty much geared and good to go all right all right i'm excited um no idea what to expect this is <laughs> this is <laughs> scary okay so that's a magic attack that's the melee attack Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, that's where I need to go, right? All right, let me go ahead and tell you out. Okay, I know his auto attacks, and then it seems like I can identify his, um, his tail swipe or whatever. So obviously, that killed me. But there's quite a good amount of time between, uh, between auto attacks, it seems like. So probably, uh, probably soul split fairly easily. Oh, okay. Oh, no. All right, close. So it doesn't seem like I have enough time to... Well, I don't want to say enough time, but I don't have as much time to react to his melee attack than I do other mechanics. Like the mage and range identifiers, they give you plenty of time to change, but melee, it's kind of just there. Whenever I see him attack, it might be good to just like pray melee, and if it's something else, then just quickly swap. Yep, that was a good move. All right, he's going to do his thingy. Cool. Okay, got that. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, hello. Okay, okay, okay. That's a new one. That was, that was pretty good. Okay, got I got through the first couple mechanics, so the auto attacks don't really seem too hard to deal with. It's kind of standard with like care pack and all that stuff, so I'm kind of used to that. I think it's just a matter of getting the special attacks. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and just, whoops, miss that. Oh, and you can't poison care or poison him. Oh, I'm just gonna teleport. I messed that up. So you can't poison him, so I might as well just not use Cinder Banes at all. So let me update this preset to passage and recharge my adrenaline. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and DBX spec and all that fancy stuff because I think I can get to the portal in Max Guild quick enough. I might need to move actually. Right now, that's the next one. Oh no. Almost, 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 almost. I mean, it seems like my burst damage is pretty good. So I think he phases like every 200K health or something like that. So I might even be able to, s I don't think I'll be able to skip that bomb, but I gotta figure out how to do the bomb. I got stunned. So I don't know if I have to like anticipate or something like that. I guess we'll see in a moment. Oh, beautiful. 
Huh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. All right. Special mechanic, right? Yep. Okay. Not too bad. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, bro. Okay, that was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, the perflix aren't as intense as I thought they were going to be. Because I think that's the thing that a lot of people say that they struggle with. Kind of okay with perflix, as I was mentioning earlier. Because, like, care pack, art glacier, and all that stuff. So, do I bait this over here or something? Oh, no. Okay. So, I'm supposed to dodge it then. It's going to be four. I'm going to move away because he's going to swipe, right? Yeah. Nice. Oh, gosh. Okay. Manifestations. Oh, this is where I got to go to the pools, huh? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's something else. Oh, gosh. Okay. Melee. Yeah. <laughs> Just going to be running the bombs. No. I am not. <laughs> okay. Well. That was a pretty good attempt. Gonna give myself that credit. That was not too bad. Yeah, the pools really set me back. I think that was a pretty big source of damage that I was taking there. And then I think I'm just really messing up the auto attacks because obviously I gotta get used to the animation, but then I'm also just trying to focus on the special attacks. But I mean, it's four auto attacks per, per special. So I don't think it'll be, I think I can focus a little bit more on the auto attacks and getting a proper prayer switch, so. Nice. We went ahead and got that skip. That is what I like to see. I wonder if the mechanics reset, do they? I don't know if they do or if they just keep going in line. Guess we'll see. Oh, no. I guess it just starts with the new mechanics of the phase, huh? No. Okay, I'm not going to reset that. So, No, I am dead, bro. That wasn't bad. I skipped the bombs on the first phase. And so I guess each phase has its, it starts with its, like it doesn't roll over mechanics like, uh, like Telos does there. It's starting to make sense. Oh, nope. I'm dead. Maybe not. Yeah, bro. Oh, okay. This is where, yep. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Like, okay. I'm definitely getting it. I, I know how to identify the melee attack versus the ranged attack. That'll help a ton with like soul split flicking and all that stuff. Oh, the phase starts with that. Okay. Oh, hello. Where's the other one? Is there more? Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah. I'm dead, bro. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm... I'm getting through phases one and two really well. I just didn't know that the pools started right away on number three, on phase three. So that's good to know, because I can just knock that out really quick before he does any of his special stuff. Oh. 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 Now I know why you don't go away too soon. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm just going to teleport. <sighs> See, that time I was ready for it, but um, I messed it up. That's no good. I think it's because I bladed dive. I did bladed dive too early because uh, I recently surged. So it doesn't do damage if I use it while on global cooldown. So got to make sure I don't do that. I don't know how far I need to actually run away. I also don't really need to run away right up when I get stunned. I think that's something that's messing me up. Just moving around too much. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, hello. There we go. I think I'm on the right track now. No. I say that. Oh. <laughs> I say that I'm on the right track and then uh, that happens. <laughs> but I mean, it's like all making sense. So it's not like anything's random or I'm, I'm not like dying to anything that I'm just like, uh, what was that? I'm dying and I know exactly why I'm dying. So. I'm able to identify it. It's not like care pack where I just all of a sudden take a 3k, 2k stack and all of a sudden I'm like, where did that come from? So that was unintentional. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, go, go, go. Ah, I was just barely. Okay. 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 This is going good. Cool. We are in the final phase. So this can be a challenge for sure. 
Oh, that's dead. <laughs> I think I can get the first half of the fight down fairly well now. Now that I've seen it all the way through, it's I know how to deal with each of the mechanics, so I'm not really too worried about failing that one too much more. So messed that up quite a bit. But I guess I can still attack while I'm doing that, huh? It's just risky. No. Oh, I'm a dingus. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I forgot that I could actually attack him while he's rampaging. That should help a little bit. Um, it's just risky. So I just got to get um, a little bit better with seeing the rock falls and how that, uh, how to identify like when they're actually going to fall. So I need to know when to move. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is... This is fun, bro. This is really fun. What does he do, like, every two attacks? Okay, yeah, so it's every two attacks he does a special. Okay. Oh, why did I do that? 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 Okay, phase four is actually very easy compared to the first three phases. All you gotta do is move out of the way every two attacks, and then um, when he curls up, you just gotta beat his shield and... That's pretty much the gist of it, it feels like. So I think I got it, like, within the next... I, assuming I don't mess up, the next, like, three or four kills for sure. Oh, that was close. That was really close. No. Please don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Okay. No. Okay. Oh, great. Oh, there we go. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Oh, that's great, bro. All right, so we've kind of gotten Raksha down to, um, we've gotten it down pretty well, actually. Uh, right now, we are at, say, like 20-ish KC? 17. Okay, so we're getting kind of close. But our quickest kill time is 416. Okay, cool. So Raksha is actually going better than I thought it would. So 17 KC, 416 uh, kill time. So I'm noticing that a lot of my... Um, kill time is delayed by having not a lot of damage during the rockfall phase. So I had this idea that I will use a defender and that will help me to keep DPSing and use the occasional defensive abilities. And I'm going to add a new defensive ability and that is going to be divert. So I'm not going to wait to get that from Raksha because it's kind of cheap and it could actually help me with Raksha quite a bit. This is basically a resonance, but instead of healing me, it will give me adrenaline based on the damage that it soaked up. I think the max that this can give is something like 50% adrenaline. It can give quite a bit of adrenaline because it gives 0.8 adrenaline for every 100 to 200 damage blocked based on the level of shield equipped with diminishing returns at 3,000, 6,000, and 9,000 damage blocked. I'm going to be using a defender. I'm not too sure how defenders works. That was in proper English. <laughs> I'm not too sure how defenders work in terms of this. It says that it acts as a shield, so I imagine this is just going to go as a tier 80 shield. I don't have the cow fight defender, so this is just going to be kind of like a test, and I don't really need... Uh, all the adrenaline in the world pretty much any adrenaline from this will work but the way that this also works is it just it doesn't heal you during the rock falls it just blocks the damage so between resonance divert and disruption shield with debilitate i should be able to just stay still during the rock fall uh, that way i don't have to run around all right here we go i don't oh it shares cooldown with res no i didn't know that either way that should still help all right that actually kind of threw me off i'm gonna reset so i didn't know that I actually shared <laughs> uh cooldown with res I, but it totally makes sense because it's literally the same thing as res just for adrenaline wonder if preparation actually works oh yeah it does work for divert so that actually could be a really good move still because resonance really isn't that big a deal on that phase because it just blocks the attack and it doesn't heal you at all so divert might be better i just don't know if work i don't know if divert works for um no I, I guess it wouldn't i guess it wouldn't okay so maybe that was a little bit of a waste for this instance but divert's going to be a good ability to unlock for other things because um some things uh need more adrenaline for melee honestly vuln bombs make a massive difference a, a vuln bomb could literally be the difference of me phasing before the second mechanic or not and that's the case for all phases it makes a massive difference <sighs> okay so it's going to take me a second to get used to, but I think the defender was a good idea. Really don't need divert, but all right. Yeah. I mean, Raksha is definitely going, definitely going well. I gotta, I gotta figure out a decent rotation for uh rock falls. Cause I mean, the defender seems to be a good idea because I didn't move at all during the rock falls and I wasn't strapped for health 
the whole entire time. So seems like it's a good idea. I wonder if I really even need it as long as I debilitate. So maybe this kill, I'll try it without the defender and see if I can just tank it. Because that's that's where I lose so much damage is just running around avoiding the rock falls to die or to so I don't die. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I might actually need the defender. I think I just got kind of lucky the first time without using the defender. But also I was I was doing soul split and using quite a bit of threshold. So I was healing up quite a bit so I can handle some of those 2k hits. So if I'm to just use debilitate, I gotta make sure I kind of go ham. Hello? Go. Oh. oh my gosh. No. I don't really know if I need the defender, but I also don't really think I need a shield. There's never really an instance where I need to uh I need to really shield camp anything i don't know i think i'm gonna keep the defender in this preset because any amount of like healing or adrenaline will work no <sighs> oh, 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 oh. okay i think i have an idea for speeding up time and i think i need a zgs during the rock fall phase and then that'll lead me to do zerk in the final phase because I kind of waste time just sitting there waiting for Zerk to come off cooldown. And I guess it would be fair to mention that my goal is to get 330 on this. Because my clan has like some roles for doing different bosses. And they have like a regular role and then a pro role. And the pro role for Raksha is having a 330 solo. I'm 45 seconds off that so I'm still quite a bit off. But I mean it's just something to give me a goal to go for. And if I can get 330 that would be pretty darn cool. That is where my head is at and that's why i'm kind of focusing so much on time because i mean i could do the kill in like five six minutes but 330 that would be many more kills per hour as well no come on bro uh uh dude uh, i'm getting i'm getting like like i know where i'm messing up and i i met like I know what I want to do and I'm very close to accomplishing it, but then I'll mess up by being like a tick off or something like that. And then it just throws off the rest of the kill. Wait, what? Did he have like higher shield health or something there? Because I feel like that was a lot more than I'm used to. I don't know. That felt like a ton, dude. Yeah, what the heck? That time he only had 20k. Last time he had 40k shield. What? I don't know what influences that, but... Alright guys, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. Raksha has been a pretty enjoyable experience, and it looks like we have about... 29 KC and we still have the 4 minute 16 second PB. My goal is to get the 330 kill time as I was mentioning earlier, but I don't think it's gonna come right away because I still have quite a bit of work to do when it comes to optimizing my rotation. I have my first phase down pretty well and my second phase is pretty good, but my third phase needs some work and my phase four definitely needs some work. I'm definitely going to cut some time out once I can optimize those last two phases and figuring out where I can ZGS spec, Zerk, save adrenaline because I'm just kind of out of adrenaline or I don't have a consistent amount of adrenaline when I go into phase four. So once I can kind of get it down to a science like I have care pack, then I think that's when I'm going to start improving my times and seeing, okay, this is where I need to improve or this is where I need to stall adrenaline. But overall, I've been enjoying this boss quite a bit. And um, I don't have anything from the log yet, but I don't expect to get anything from the log for a while because I'm very early on and I've been spooned in Elder God Wars so far. So I've just been enjoying learning these bosses because it's these are challenges that I've been really looking forward to for a while. And I've just been nervous to put my toes in the water or dip my toes in the water and I'm just glad that I am because I'm really enjoying the experience so far. It's just bringing me to a whole new level of PVM so once I get through melee and learn melee like the back of my hand then going into other styles is just going to be a whole new experience. I'm just really looking forward to where this is taking me but anyways guys I'm babbling on at this point. If you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a like, uh, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. If you want to see more content then of course subscribe and if you would like to catch me stream then I'm going to do a couple streams here on YouTube occasionally and sometimes I might do them on my Twitch channel. I don't know. Twitch I might not do too regularly because I'm not on a super regular schedule for 
streaming, the occasional YouTube stream will probably happen. So if you'd like to catch that, then definitely make sure to subscribe. But if you'd like to catch me on Twitch, then make sure to follow my Twitch. The link to my Twitch channel is in the video description. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. I'm Rayo, and I'll see you next time. Take care.